this is an interesting math question okay it's under geometry now we are told that this place the area of this square okay this is not drawn to scale to start with okay the area of this portion is 15 okay the area of this portion is 6 the area of this portion is 14 so the question says what is the area of this portion now let's call this face uh, this particular place the eye now this is i i this is i i i so we are looking for area of iv okay remember that this is a square this is supposed to be a sorry a rectangle this is supposed to be a rectangle okay all right now if this is a rectangle note that this is not a square okay this is a rectangle this is a rectangle this is also a rectangle now if we say let this place be equal to a okay if from here to here is equal to a then definitely from here to here we also be equal to a right yeah if we say from here to here if we say like this be b then definitely from here to here we also be b also if we say let here be c then definitely here is also c okay if we call this place d then definitely this place is also d now where am i driving at i would like you to take your time Hmm. Calm down and see how we're going to get the value of this box or this square or this, sorry, rectangle, this rectangle, IV. Now, first of all, to find the area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth, okay, or width. Let's use width. Length times width. All right, so that is area of a rectangle. Now, if we decide to consider rectangle I, okay. Now, for I, for the first rectangle, which is for I, the area is going to be equal to length times width, which is equal to the length is what the length is C, okay. So we have C, and the width is A, we have A, so. From there, this implies that AC is equal to, you already told that the, rect that, that the area is 15. So AC is 15. Also, let's check for II, okay? So for II, which is this one, the area, let's call this equation one to start with, okay? So for II, the area is going to be length times breadth, right? Now the length is C, and the breadth or the width is B, okay? So it's going to be C, B, or B, C, all right? So this implies that B, C, or C, B is equal to, the area is already six. Now let's call this equation two, all right? Now for I, 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 that is for the third section, for this place, the area is equal to remember that the area is length times width so it's going to be d times b all right which is same thing as bd so this implies that bd is equal to the area is already 14. now let's call this equation three okay so we have equation one as ac is equal to 15 equation two as bc is equal to six Equation 3 as BD equals 14. Now let's try to get this, okay? So for 4, okay, for 4, which is IV, we can see that the area is equal to, now the length is D, right? From here to here is D, multiplied by the breadth is A, right? So it means that AD, right, is equal to what we are looking for. Let's call what we are looking for x, okay? So let's call this place x, the area that we are looking for. And this is equation four. Now permit me to write all these equations together so that we can solve it, okay? Now the first one says ac is equal to 15, so let's just write it. Equation one says ac is, I don't know if you can see that, ac is equal to 15. This is equation one. Now equation two says bc, is equal to six. This is equation two. Now equation three says BD 
is equal to 14. This is equation 3. And the last but not the least, equation 4 says AD is equal to X. AD is equal to X. This is equation 4. Okay, now, I want us to watch this. If, if we say equation 1 multiplied by equation 3, okay? Equation 1 multiplied by equation 3. It's going to be AC multiplied by BD, right? So we have AC multiplied by BD is equal to 15 multiplied by 4. 15 multiplied by 14, okay? All right. Now, AC multiplied by BD is same thing as A, B, C, D, right? So we have A, B, C, D is equal to 15 multiplied by 14. Now, let's call this equation 5. Let's leave it there, okay? Now, from here, if we say equation 2 multiplied by equation 4, right? So write equation 2 times equation 4. We are going to have BC times AD. BC times AD is equal to 6 times X. 6 times X. Okay? All right. Now, what we have here is A, B, C, D is equal to 6X. Okay? Let's call this equation 6. If we call this equation 6, can you see the resemblance or what equation 5 and equation 6, what they have in common? This is what they have in common. Since ABCD is equal to 15 times 14 according to equation 5, and ABCD is also equal to 6X according to equation 6, it simply means that 15 times 14 is equal to 6X, right? So we are going to write that. 15 times 14 is equal to 6X. 15 times 14 is equal to 6x, all right? If we compare equation 5 and equation 6. So look at what we have now. We divide both sides of this equation by 6 to get x. So we divide this by 6, divide this by 6. Now 6, we divide 6, and we have x is equal to... Now here, um, 3, we divide this to give us 2, we divide this to give us 5. 2 we divide itself to give us 1, divide 14 to give us 7. So x we give us 5 times 7, which we give us 35 square meters, okay? So that is the, the area of x. If this is the first time you have seen us, click the subscription button, please. Then you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss us, okay? We upload our video multiple times a day. Always tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.